Hi guys, it's Jill Shimmers. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have a drugstore video and I really think you guys are going to love this one just because I feel like this brand in particular um, just has the most consistent makeup in the drugstore. I feel like some things are just hit and miss, but with LA Girl, I feel like it's always like good. I mean, there are some things here and there that I maybe don't like or like a little bit less than others, but overall, I feel like they have great products that I keep reaching on a daily basis and they actually have a really, really nice foundation that I'm going to show you guys today. So some of the products I did already have and some others I did purchase for, uh, for this video just because I didn't really have them. But for the most part, everything that I'm going to show you guys, you can find at Ulta. I think all of them actually you can find at Ulta. So the only thing I don't have from them is the bronzer just because I didn't really see one on their website. I don't think actually LA Girl has a bronzer. So I'm just going to be using the Wet n Wild instead of that one just because I don't really think that they sell one. I actually looked for the powder to see if they had like a darker shade and Ulta only sells the first six shades. So I was a little bit out of luck on that, but let's just go ahead and get started. So the first product that I'm going to be using is for my brows. This one is called the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil and I have this one in the shade Espresso. I do remember they had like four or five shades on this one. I feel like they actually had a brunette and then an espresso, which is really nice because sometimes they go from brunette to dark and I just feel like the, the dark is too dark and that brunette is too light. So this is a nice like in between. So I was really, really glad that I saw that. So the color is actually coming on really, really nicely. So I'm actually super happy with the shade that I picked. That was like way higher than I ever done my brows, but we're just gonna go with it. I feel like we're just trying things out today. Maybe that's what I was missing. I feel like this pencil just like took me there. All right, so let's go ahead and use the spoolie and see how the spoolie works. I feel like the pencil itself is really nice. I actually did enjoy using it. The spoolie is actually really nice too. It's just a little bit on like the thick side so you can actually like feel it. Um, it did just look a little bit messy and that might be my fault actually because I just like pencils that kind of like do the work for me and this one's just too waxy for me. So if I was going to use this one, I would probably go in with a brow gel. But let's just go ahead and clean them up. All right, so now I'm going to move on to the eyes. I'm just going to be using the Pro Primer High Definition Eyeshadow Primer from LA Girl. So I'm just going to be trying this out. I'm going to be putting it all over my lid. really like the shade of this. I feel like this actually matches my skin really, really well. And it feels like super creamy. I don't know if I'm like overdoing it, but it just feels so nice that I kind of don't want to stop. <laughs> yeah, it definitely feels really creamy. So super easy to blend out with your fingers as well. But it does feel like you need to set it just because it is just so easy to move that I'm afraid my shadows are just going to like move around throughout the day, not gonna last. Just to show you guys the eyeshadow that I picked up. This one is the Get Feverish Eyeshadow Palette by LA Girl. I feel like the colors of this were a little bit better for me and actually Ulta is having a buy one get one fifty for LA Girl. Probably perfect for the fall actually. I didn't even like see them inside. I just thought they were gonna be a little bit more pinkish. They're actually like perfect for the fall. I'm super happy with the palette that I picked. First shade that I'm gonna be taking is this one right here. And with this, I'm just going to go right onto the crease. And wow, these are pigmented. So I'm just going right onto the crease. A little bit higher than where my crease would be just because I have hooded eyes. And if I don't do this, my like that shade would just get lost. So I have to bring it up a little bit more just because I'm going to bring my crease shade a little bit higher as well. So, so far, I'm kind of just placing this shade down. Not really blending yet. That's applying really, really nice. I'm actually really happy with how it looks. So, I'm taking this shade right here and I'm just going to be blending that out. So, I'm going to be putting this one right over top. Pull over the crease. Kind of like packing it on right there. And I'm going to start blending this out. I'm 
And then I'm going to go with the darkest shade that I was using, just the first one. And I'm kind of going to blend this in a little bit better. Looking a little bit weird on this area right here, but I can just, you know, blend this in a little bit better. And then we can clean this up at the end. Okay, so I just realized I used the darkest shade on the palette. So now I have to like figure out what I'm doing because I thought there would be like one darker than this. But maybe we can try the one underneath. So I'm going to go with this one. And I'm just going to pack this on the outer corner. They're very, very similar. I feel like one is not darker than the other. So I'm just going to pack it on onto the middle of the lid. Okay, so now I'm going to be creating a cut crease and I'm going with my L Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer. And I have this one on the shade Natural. I really, really like this concealer. The only thing I don't like about it is the packaging. It just makes it so hard to get stuff in and out of here. Well, not in, but out of here. I'm just going to start kind of packing this in on the lid. And then kind of creating a little cut crease. Definitely need more product. Okay. I'm gonna let this set for a minute and I'm gonna go back onto the first shade that we applied on the crease. And I'm kind of packing this on on the outer part of the eye. And then slowly, I'm gonna start blending it in. Okay, that was really easy to pack and blend. So, I'm kind of impressed. So I'm gonna go with this one. They don't have names, by the way, but they do have numbers. Um, yeah, they do have numbers. So I'm gonna go with number seven and I'm applying this on the inner corner. It's a really pretty shimmer. I'm not applying this all the way out just because I wanna go with this shade as well. And I'm gonna be applying this one right next to it. I feel like that looks cute. And then going back with the matte, I'm kind of just blending this out. So I'm gonna go with the darkest right here. And I'm actually gonna do an eyeliner. And like kind of connect it to the outer part of the eye. So I feel like that gives it just a little bit more it looks a little bit more intricate, you know? I like that. I think I do. So I'm just taking a cleansing wipe and I'm gonna just clean it up like this, like kind of an eyeliner. I like how I'm actually really happy with that, how this came out. It took a little bit longer than expected, but now I'm gonna do this eye and I'll be right back. This one is a little bit weird as always. I just can't seem to do this eye ever. But I'm gonna move on to the face and I'm actually gonna be using the LA Girl Pro Matte High Definition Longwear Foundation. I love this one. I've talked about it on my favorites video. It's a really, really nice foundation. I have two shades right here. I have the shades um, light tan and medium beige. So depending on my skin color and the time of the year, these actually both fit me. Um, I usually go for the medium beige, which is my shade, but I feel like right now I think I'm a little bit more tan. So I think I'm gonna be mixing the two. Okay, it might be a little warm. So I think I'm gonna mix the two, but definitely gonna put a little bit more of light tan just because I feel like the undertone is off, but the color right. It's just a really, really nice looking long lasting foundation. The only thing is that it's matte. I would love it if it had a little bit of, I don't know, a glow to it. I feel like it would just look a little bit better, but it is a really, really great foundation. And if you are looking for something matte, I would def definitely recommend this one. 
I feel like mixing the two really, really worked. So I like how it looks. Like I said, I would just like it to be a little bit more glowy just because my skin is so dry. But that is my only complaint. Other than that, I don't really have any complaints with this. You guys see it like how full coverage it is? It just covered up those pimples with, like nothing. I feel like this is just like a hidden gem. I think you can find this one um, at CVS, I think. I think I've seen it. I actually had two color correctors and I completely forgot about it. Why do I always do this? These are really, really great. I'm just going to show you guys how the concealers look. They're the same thing. They're the... LA Girl Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer. This one I use to do the cut crease on my eyes. And I'm going to be using these two, one as a concealer and the other one as a contour. So I'm using Natural for my concealer and Tofi for my contour. Concealer, like I said, this is just the worst applicator. I just hate it so much because there's no way that you can like have an even amount. It either has to be way too much or not enough. So there's always like a mess going on, you know. This also sets really quickly, so you want to work fast. So I'm just going to start by putting it under my eyes first. By filming like YouTube videos, I have noticed that I can't do a lot of things at once. Like if I'm doing my makeup, I cannot think. Can't think, can't say things that make sense. I just cannot think words. You know? What else is new? Super full coverage. We would have liked to color correct in my eyes, but we're just going to ignore that. Um, I'm going to go with the Tofi now. And hopefully I don't put too much of this. This one is very close to my skin tone. So I don't think it would be too bad if I put too much. But still. I feel like I need to put a little more. See, like, I don't like this applicator. It just doesn't do anybody any favors. Go ahead and blend that, and I'm going to be using this Sigma Angle Kabuki. It's just like a nice glow, you know? Nice like bronzy look without like being too contoured. I feel like this is just like warming up the face instead of like contouring it, you know? I obviously will use a powder bronzer and I feel like that would look a little bit better um, once I have everything together. But now we're just gonna go ahead and set that concealer. I'm using the LA Girl Pro Powder High Definition Setting Powder. And this one is in the shade Banana Yellow. Honestly, not the biggest fan of this. I'm kind of just like using it up. Um, Ellie Girl does have great products, but this one is not one of my favorites. So we're looking super matte now. But it had to happen. It had to happen. Let's move on. I'm going to be using the Ellie Girl Island Hottie Blush Palette. And I think I'm going to be going for this one right here. And I feel like everything is too light. Ellie Girl honestly has the best blushes. They also have the small ones that come in like a rectangular packaging and those I love. I have two shades. I have just blushing and just natural and honestly I use them all the time. That's probably why I know the shades by memory. But do you guys see like how easy that was? I feel like for blushes nobody needs anything else than Ella Girl blushes and BH Cosmetics. They have the best. Next I'm going with the Moonlight Magic Highlighting Palette. I'm actually going to be mixing this one and this one. All right, so I'm really liking how this is looking. I'm going back into my palette right here. And I think I'm gonna be putting this shade really close to the lash line. And then I'm gonna kind of smoke it out with this one right here.
All right, so I apply some lashes. If you're interested, I use the Ardell Naked Lashes. These are new. You can find them at CVS. I feel like Ulta also has some. I feel like I've seen them, but we're just going to move on. I'm actually going to be using an eye pencil, and this one is the LA Girl Shock Wave Neon Eyeliner in the shade Screaming. I'm going to be putting this on my waterline. I'm so sorry if you're grossed out about this, but I don't really know another way to do it. It's just like a very comfortable thing. And I'm just not able to do it if I don't hold it down. These eye pencils are really, really good. I really recommend them if you haven't tried them. So for my lips, I'm going to be lining them with the LA Girl Pre Perfect Precision Lip Liner in the shade Bare, which is this one. And then I'm going to go with the LA Girl Matte Flat Finish Pigment Gloss in the shade Fleur. So these two... I really like the shade of this. I feel like it's just like a little bit, like a little bit of a skin color. You could easily like line your lips with just this and make it look a little bit bigger without applying any lip product. Like it. I really, really like it. I'm going to just put this like right on my desk because I'll probably use it tomorrow for work. But now I'm going to go with that lip gloss. And ooh. I this not I did not expect this to be this color at all. But I love the fact that it actually has a tint to it. Like it's a really nice gloss. It doesn't feel sticky. It's just really, really comfortable. This is the look right here. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do want to say a lot of things. I feel like most of the products that I use today are really, really nice. I'm going to keep using. The only thing I didn't really like was the LA Girl Pro Powder. I just don't really recommend this. It's not that I hate it, but it's just my, my least favorite thing of everything that I tried. The foundation is bomb. You guys can see my skin is super dry. I actually put on makeup this morning for another video, and it was just so crusty and like cracking that I was like, oh my gosh. How I'm gonna like upload this video, but this one looks a little bit better. Still dry, but it looks a little bit better, even though the foundation is matte. So that's really, really good. The concealer is A. I'm sad that I didn't get to try the color correctors on camera for you guys, but they're honestly amazing. Um, go ahead and try them out. The lip gloss is really, really nice. The lip liner I'm gonna probably use every day because it's just a, it's just a really nice color. The, the shadows blend it really nicely. I feel like this look, I really liked it. I didn't expect it to be as nice, but I really, really like how it came out, especially with the little eyeliner that I did. Um, the brow product, eh, it's a little bit of a hit and miss. I don't think it's the worst eyebrow product. It's just a little bit too waxy for my liking. But the blush palette, the highlighter palette, I did already have, did already love. And I feel like that is all that I used, right? I think that's it. I don't see really anything else around me. Oh, the eyeshadow primer actually behaved really nicely. I thought it was going to be a little bit more sticky, but it did set down after a while, especially after I applied some shadow over top. So if you're going to use it, I really recommend that you set it with powder before you apply your eyeshadows, but I really, really loved everything that I use. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's an affordable one, so all these products you can go and pick up right now, either at your CVS, your Walmart, I don't know, your Target, um, or your Ulta, depending on where you are. So thank you so much for watching. As always, please don't forget to subscribe below, like this video, and I will see you guys on my next one. Bye, guys.